right, welcome back to Crimson Sins Plays. That's what's walking around. Um, I'm gonna use fire. I have, I have another one. On the house. Man, I can't believe this guy. Two flame rounds. Two flame rounds and he still wants to play. And just like that, I'm out of handgun ammo. Alright, have another. Are you done now? Oh, come on! Have another! Man! Don't understand these fools! Another door? Alright, what's going on in here? What is that? All I do is press a button. What is that? Culture sample? Okay, well guess what, lady, because all I got is, uh... You know, grenade launcher stuff. Oh, do not even. I was gonna say, you're a basic zombie, you don't get to survive that. That is not a right you have. Okay. Uh huh, they want the weapon. That new mutation, very high regrowth ability. So, these are the super ugly uglies I was talking about. Any sort of failure? Employees. Is it talking about the, uh... The Magnum? Because it, it, they, they keep being so vague about it. High-powered weaponry to use against the Pale Heads. Oh, look! There's another one! Yep, here he comes, crawling down. Alright, that's one explosive round. Two explosive rounds. Three explosive rounds. Three explosive rounds. And those were direct hits, mind you. It wasn't even like, oh, it exploded kind of near him and he took some damage, I guess. Like, direct hits from explosive rounds. I don't care what kind of regenerative abilities you have. It's going to be kind of hard to shake that one off. Where's this from now? I'm in so many different rooms. I seriously need to go back and get more ammo or switch guns or something. This just this isn't okay. I can load 15 bullets into this thing. This thing's not exactly, you know, impressing me so far. What's this case I just saw over here? Acid rounds. That's what I wanted to try on them. So let's load some acid rounds. Which goes through the lengthy animation of loading them, even though, uh... Even though I only got two rounds. But, you know, that's okay. It's fine. To uh, unlock this door. Power. Insufficient the power? How dare you? This must be what powers it. Hello. Do me a favor, sit down. I really don't want to waste another grenade. Just show us how we do it in prison! Not that Jill's ever been to prison. I haven't been to prison either, but I've seen movies. I have an idea of what it's like. <laughs> Alright, um, I think I need to backtrack and get some more supplies. 
Because we're running bare bones here. So, uh, I will meet you guys back at this door with a little bit more uh, preparedness. Alright, I'm back now. I have brought the shotgun out for regular zombies and brought acid rounds out for the uglies. Uh, my heels are pretty scarce right now, so I'm going to let Jill ride out this, uh... Uh-oh. Jesus. Is this where they're made? I... These are tyrants. Oh. I might have brought the wrong rounds for this. Oh, please don't let these things wake up. Oh, boy. Uh, I, I'm just thinking about how I'm going to have to try and get through there if those things wake up. I mean, I doubt it would be so mean as to throw a tyrant at me. But I could definitely wake up one of those other guys. You know what? Okay, did the pale guy just go down from one acid shot? Boy, did I waste a bunch of that ammo then. Explosive B, cool. Well, I mean, hindsight's 2020, I guess. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm not gonna read that. It's called the Nemesis. <laughs> it's my number one fan screen name, Nemesis. Okay, this looks like I can use some vaccine development. I'm just collecting all these random vials. I don't know when I've had enough vials. All right. So I need two bees to make acid rounds. I can combine them both together to make flame rounds. Which, if one of those uh, tree bark people come to life down there, which they most certainly will, I'll make some flame rounds for them specifically. Just because I don't want to waste my acid rounds now that I know that uh, that's not what they're designed to kill. Okay, nice and easy. You know, what's this thing in the middle? I, I can't even think- OH! Man, see what I say. I don't suppose I can just combine it like this? No. That's not the right ammunition. Oh no. Oh! Okay, well now that I know what I'm going up against, I guess I'll meet you guys back here with the necessary equipment. Man, look at all this carnage. Real carnage is how much ammo I wasted putting those guys down, though. Go all the way back here. Bump uglies with ugly up here. Shotgun is out and ready to go. I'm Jill Valentine. And welcome to Jackass. Don't you ever do that again. Oh boy! Blue Kool-Aid! Alright! Um, I'm back. I did a whole bunch of stuff to get back over here. I'll probably put a few bits and pieces in just so you can see about what I was up to. But uh, I'm ready now, I think. I might want to heal. You know, I think I'll be fine. So I think I have enough ammo to put the two on the right down.
assuming they're all I need to take care of. No, one more. Oh, and look, I couldn't even run past him if I wanted to. Is that all you got? Because I can handle more. Too easy. And Jill's still not looking good. I feel bad. I really do. But, uh, you know, there's nothing I can do. It's just not something I can fix. Well, I mean, I could fix it. I just choose not to. I don't think that really makes me a bad person. I think I'm just trying to wisely allocate resources. You know what? If you're judging me right now, I don't need it. I don't need that kind of judgment. I'm... I only have one full heal. And while it may not seem like it, I have Jill's best intentions in mind. And, you know, she gets the full heal when I know it's a good time for her to get the full heal. And you're just going to have to trust my judgment on that. Anyway. Um, I think we maybe have enough to make that vaccine now. But honestly, right now, who knows? Because I never got like a piece of paper telling me what I needed. I've just been kind of running around grabbing key items. I still gotta check out what's down here. Oh, look. That's probably what it was telling me to do. Well, I mean, we're here, but we still gotta check out the room. So! Next time on Crimson Sins Plays, we're going to check out what's in that room, and then we're going to build ourselves the vaccine, and we can hopefully stop that massive nuke from hitting this town. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. We'll see you next time.